Gentle and playful, Newfoundland ponies are a rare breed. Less than 300 of these ponies are left in the world. You can't help but fall in love with these ponies. Emily Chakowsky developed a relationship with a Newfoundland back in 2008 when she bought the pony Tansy as a companion for her horse. But after I got her, I fell absolutely in love with her. She was so different. She was so smart. Emily soon learned the Newfoundland was near extinction, and that is when she knew she had a mission. The Newfoundland is a crossbreed developed from Irish, Scottish, and English ponies that settlers brought to the Canadian island centuries ago. The ponies roamed freely. They were considered workhorses on the island, plowing, hauling wood. They're known for their obedience, courage, and intelligence. They were bred to handle the harsh, cold climate. The long, low-set tail allows snow and ice to slide right off them. On his ears, they're short, and if you touch them, the thickness, they're much thicker than a no normal horses. They're furry, that helps keep the bugs out. The thickness um, also is um, for frostbite. Helps them against frostbite. See his eyes, they're hooded. See how it kind of sticks out over his eyes? Mm -hmm. That keeps the ice and the snow and rain out of his eyes. They work side by side with the people there. And people there say that if it wasn't for the Newfoundland pony, they would have they uh, frozen to death in the winter because these guys hauled wood and they did all kinds of work for them. free on the island there's about 7,000 of them and then the advent of machinery which happened to a lot of a lot of things uh, a lot of animals and breeds and farm animals they weren't as important in 1977 dealers from Quebec arrived on Newfoundland offering to buy the ponies for riding schools on the mainland but in fact these beautiful animals were actually being brought to slaughterhouses in Europe by 1980 a group of people united in the effort to save the Newfoundland from extinction the task has been to teach people this, that they have such value and it's not what you would normally consider in the horse world. We base value on their looks and their performance. But these guys, they're just, I mean, their genetics are really important to save. Important because the Newfoundland Pony is a land race breed created by nature, born of the land where they roamed. The Newfoundland has not been manipulated to serve any other purpose than what it was born to be. It's the last remaining indigenous pony breed um, in North America that hasn't had its genetics purposely changed. We water down the genetics of the standard breeds. The land race breeds, it's the Mona Lisa, okay? It's the beginning. and her fiance Georgia Ho operate the Villy Pony Sanctuary in the shadow of Mount Monadnock in Jaffrey. There are 13 ponies here. In fact, there are only several dozen Newfoundlands in the United States. We have approximately 250 breeding Newfoundland ponies left in the world. Maybe 400 to 500. Uh, we're finding them all the time. And we have 40 in this country. And Lily's going to give us uh, number 41 in July. Emily and George focus on breeding and providing homes and foster care for the ponies that come their way. Hey. Hey. They rescued Ami, a stallion, more than six years ago. His hip was crushed in an accident at another farm. They took a chance, even though it was suggested they put Ami down. It'll be six years of chance coming this uh, July, and he is the father of Lily's baby. And we did collection and insemination. But he is as sweet as can be. Lily is this 14-year-old mare that will give birth this summer, doing her part to save her breed from extinction. In fact, we could actually feel her full kicking. One characteristic that's so special about the Newfoundland pony is that, in general, they're not your typical temperamental pony. They don't bite, and most importantly, they don't kick. Evidence of just how friendly they are? Winsome Dream interrupted our interview with Emily several times. The center of attention. So we grew and grew and became a sanctuary. <laughs> and there she goes. And there's one of them right there. <laughs> Now 
This is what my day's like. I come out here and I talk to ponies and donkeys. <laughs> really. George is a retired police officer. He is much happier communicating with the ponies and the farm's donkeys, Toby and Aries. Aries, what do you think? Hmm? Doing this is so different. It's, <laughs> I would it's just, it's incredible. Emily got me hooked on the Newfoundland ponies and here I am. Emily is also paying it forward to the next generation of horse lovers. Her team of young volunteers spend school vacations and weekends helping out at the farm. That they're not like other horses. That they're not like other horses. What you learn here you can't really bring to other horses because these ponies are great. The ponies are just so great. They're so docile and they're just very friendly. And I love to come over here and know that this, that, you know, they're saving this breed and that this is just a great place to be. For Emily, saving the Newfoundland is her calling. Her lifetime love of horses blended with the desire to help save the affectionate Newfoundland, a breed of ponies with a rich past and an uncertain future. They're just pristine. They don't have genetic problems. They're smart. This is the kind of pony you want your kid to have. Actually, this is the kind of pony that I want to have. I, I notice I don't have any horses anymore. 